there's barely an Australian home that hasn't got its own barbecue, and with motorhome and camping and caravanning being a major recreational activity in Australia, more and more people are getting out on the road. And uh, what we've got here is a sovereign barbecue, which we had to fit into the side of this motorhome. It's the hottest things on, on wheels, and I literally mean that because you fit it inside this box here. It goes in and out on these wheels, so you pull it out wherever you are, 24-7, anywhere you are. And you cook yourself up some nice steak and eggs and onions and tomatoes and bacon and cooked pineapple and possums. Oops, not possums. Now the next thing you've got to do is find yourself a good location on your motorhome or your camper or your caravan. Now where we've changed is down the very back of the vehicle. So we're still underneath the awning, but we're still in a nice ventilated area. We picked a nice height, so we've got it about the same height as a uh, kitchen bench. We check with our gas compliance guys to make sure that we're fitting it in a in a proper area and all that sort of gear. If you've got any more questions, ring the guys at Sovereign Barbecues. They're full of information and they'll tell you everything you need to know. Next, we've carefully marked out the area where we're going to fit the sliding box. It's got the rollers inside of it for the barbecue to go in and out, remember. I just love this thing. So we've marked out the side on the bus here. We've been very careful to ensure that there's no wires or cables or fixtures and the access behind the box is all clear before we start cutting into the side of the bus. So we'll cut this out now and then make up a nice little platform for your barbecue to support it. We've used some timber and we've put a little bit of liquid nails on top so when this sits on top of that it's going to stick in place. It's not going to rattle and it'll be there for good. To service your barbecue, you don't need to take this box out. The barbecue slides out. You can do all of your cleaning outside the bus. It's good, isn't it? In we go. Around the edges, we've got some sealant. In it goes, out it comes, the little tiny latches on the side, and on goes your steak and eggs. This is fantastic, isn't it? So this is the stowaway roller box fitted on the side of the vehicle, and as you can see here, you've got these little rollers. And this is what the barbecue attaches to. There's just a couple of points there and some on the other side. It rolls out, clicks into a position there, and that's where your barbecue sits outside underneath your awning so you can get a hold of your steaks and your sausages and have a good feed. When you push it back in, there's a little clip here which comes down and that locks it all into place. Now the company Sovereign Barbecue has got a good reputation based on its people. The product itself, the Bushman Explorer, like a lot of products, you base that product on its nuts and bolts. Now this Explorer is held in with four stainless steel bolts. Like the uh, barbecue itself, it's all high grade stainless steel, so no rusting, which is great. The little bolts on the side, when you fit them, make sure that the bottom face of the nut is sitting flat so it goes in and out past the slider. I'll give you a close-up look. There's our little bolt. Keep this edge here flat. And then it just slides past that point there. Now it all seems simple enough and in actual fact fitting a Bushman barbecue is pretty simple but there are good instructions that come with it and I know we all don't like to read the instructions but read the instructions. Here's an important point that I read in the instructions in regards to the door. Now what they're saying is put your barbie in as a test pilot first before you lock tight it all up alright before you put the door on sit it on in like so. What we're going to check here is to make sure the barbie slides in and out without hitting at the edges of the door. So make sure you do that. Check it all out to make sure it's all smooth. Pay particular attention to the little locking tab at the top there. Make sure it clears it. Get your position right. Mark it with a pen or a pencil around the edge so you don't lose your spot and fix it on. So we position the door, mark it out. We put two screws in the top there just to keep it in place. It's all looking great. Now we're just sending some pilot holes through before we fit all the stainless steel screws. The sealant's behind there. It's looking great. And 
there we have it. It's all fitted. This one's called the Bushman. There's some other sizes as well. It slides in, it slides out. You put your steaks on and your eggs, tomatoes, burn onions, crack a cold beer. This is a fantastic thing. I love the idea of getting out and about and you pull up anywhere you like, any time you like, day or night, and pull out your barbecue. It's just a quick release of the pin there. It slides out. You've got little clips on the side here like this and you can open up your barbecue. I think you know how to operate a barbecue. I sure do. Pop it down. Slide it in. Don't forget to put your little safety latch on. That just stops it from trying to vacate the vehicle when you don't want it to go. Close it up. It fits snug as a bun in a rug. It's time to get on the road again. Catch us later. Have a talk to the guys at Sovereign. Get a hold of your barbecue today. Here's little HDMI fittings here. Just one more technical question. How big do the trout really get around there? Now you can watch your high definition movies on your high definition LED, LCD or plasma.